Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Show and View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the backstage updates and developments as it concerns what the WWE is going to be doing with Curtis Axel and Ryback. Do they have plans for them as separate entities to go on strong singles pushes? Are they going to be thrown back together? Are they going to be in a program? Are they going to be in a feud amongst each other? Here is the latest developments. It was recently reported that Curtis Axel would be returning to WWE as Ryback has been cleared to wrestle and they were being brought back together. Axel has not been injured but has been kept off TV while Ryback recovers from surgery. It was also reported that Curtis Axel could come back on his own with a turn. Word now is that they are learning that they are leaning more towards giving Axel a singles run, which could give Ryback a new singles push as well. At the same time, it was said that the singles push it pushes could be nixed altogether and the team could be brought back as they're still focused on the tag team division. And I feel before they wrap up Axel and Ryback, they should go on a, a, a pretty good run with the WWE Tag Team Championships as a way to boost their momentum and it would make it look better, more credibility for, for a singles run down the line and maybe they can develop a rivalry somewhere out of that. Regarding a singles run for Axel, there isn't a lot of optimism backstage due to how Axel couldn't draw heat with the backing of Paul Heyman. Axel has his supporters. Now here's the thing. Axel, in my opinion, you know, he has the look, he has the skills, he has the wrestling ability. The guy has all the tools, all right? That's the bottom line, that's the truth. But I chalk it up to a lack of direction and poor booking on the WWE's part. That's what Curtis Axel's been uh, dealing with. And the same with Ryback. I mean, Ryback could have went on a tear. Ryback could have been a big main event star. And then all of a sudden, the WWE powers that be decided to go in a different direction. And Curtis Axel, you know, being the son of Mr. Perfect, could go on to do big things. This guy has future world champion written all over him. But when you're given some poor decisions, some bad booking, some lackluster direction, then your your career is going to be blown up to be a bunch of BS. It's going to look to be a joke. They need to... Maybe it would be a good idea to put Axel and Ryback back together as they can work off of each other. They can, uh, you know, once again, focus uh, as a team, as a well-oiled unit. They can develop a strong, uh, you know, relationship become tag team champions and then maybe down the line Ryback and Curtis Axel can, can, can go their can go their separate ways and the fans can forget about the bad booking and the bad judgments on the WWE's part and then down the line like I said maybe people will forget about all the bad things that happened with Ryback and Axel and these two guys could potentially be a main event of a pay-per-view one day I mean who knows stranger things have happened they both deserve it your comments your opinions subscribe